Your next comedian of the night. Yeah. Are y'all ready for your next comedian of the night? Yeah. I know you guys are mad at China for COVID, but be nice to her, okay? She's from China too. She actually just came back from Beijing too. I said, you got a mask? You better wear a mask. I ain't touching you shit. Don't owe me. I'm paying her. I can say whatever the fuck I want. I got the mic. She signed up for this shit. You think these people just met me? No. Maybe. Two kayate. <laughs> All the way from China. Give it up. Via Spokane. <laughs> Give it up for Ying. I did a show in Idaho, and then the host actually introduced me. He's like, "That's the Wuhan virus." Like, yeah, wow, I was shocked. But you know what? I got up there and I killed the virus. You know, the Asian virus. So I did pretty good. So Dante already gave up my punchline, which is China. So. I'll skip that because China is not very popular, right? Yeah. No, but we're gonna train work on my arm. Yeah. So, but you know what? Don't worry about me because all my jokes are made in America. <laughs> so, so we're good. Yeah. Wow. I know. Uh, I recently moved from Spokane to uh, Seattle. Right now, I live in Belleville. So I'm right here alone from Chinese landlord. You know, one day. Few, a few weeks ago, he said this to me. He said, I don't understand about you. You're an engineer, worked for 20 some years, and you can't afford an appointment. Because uh, uh, we got, I got eight room, man. I just running one room. He said, Look at me. You know, I'm here in the US, 35 years. I work in the restaurant. I only know five sentences of English. Look at me. I didn't break. I'm like, okay, what five sentences of uh, English? He said, All I know in English is uh, left. Right, egg rolls, fried, uh, fried rice, and where is the back roll? <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, I don't know why I'm getting all that degrees. He's like, doing me no good. Right, wow. But I said, you know what? I'm renting the master bath bedroom with master bath. You are still living in the room in the hallway. <laughs> so I'm doing good. Yeah, I was like, you might have money, but I'm smarter. Right. Yeah. The Chinese people, they don't know enjoy life. No idea. Um, so, uh, you know, I came here as a graduate student. You know, it's like, when you guys are busy building that wall, I just fly over. <laughs> yeah. So when I first got to the University of Idaho, you know, Moscow, Idaho? That quadruple happened, stabbing thing happened, you know, that's where they're famous for these days, right? That's where I got my degree though, right? When I first got to that campus within six months, I started hearing Asian stereotypes. You know, stereotype, right? First one I heard, Asian people eat dogs. Oh yeah, especially Chinese people. And I'm like, wow, really? Because growing up in China, I've never eaten dogs. You never see anybody, friend, family eat dogs. Never see a market sell dog meat. Uh. I come here and eat dogs, like, wow, really? I look around the cafeteria of the University of Idaho, I look at the menu, like, guess what, America? You eat dogs. Yeah. 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 Not only you eat dogs, you eat hot dogs. Uh. Yeah. What is wrong with you guys? You know, the Chinese people, they only eat ugly dogs. Uh. <laughs> The sexy ones, they just bring them for pets. Yeah. I go check your menu, okay? You, you eat all kinds of dogs. You eat chili dogs, corn dogs, and Snoop dog. Oh. <laughs> all right, you don't eat that one. <laughs> go to any Chinese restaurant to see if there's dogs on the menu. Right? Nothing, yeah. All right, so uh, then uh, uh, pretty soon I start hearing another Asian stereotype. Okay, all Asian people look like. You hear that one? You heard that one? You know, but actually this one, I think it's not too bad. I kind of, I can get behind because when I was in China, I heard people say, all white people look like. So yeah, so this one not bad. So I, I can, I, I think it's fair game, right? At least I can say that. I, I look around the campus again, I'm like, all right, no. Asian people, they're wrong. I look at like white people, like, you know what? You don't look like white people, they're wrong. You just think alike. 
I know. But I'm thinking, you know, a uh, lot of people, a lot of things look like. Why nobody talk about it? You know, if we have to uh, uh, stick to this subject, let's break it down. What else is look like? Okay, I, go, I think about go down the list. How about Down syndrome people? Oh. <laughs> you think Down syndrome people look like? I don't know this is a retin, maybe not bad. I said that in you know, Seattle, people have problems with me. Say, yeah, you're punching down now, people. Like, oh, punching down. I'm talking about Chinese Down syndrome people. Oh. You feel better now? Because <laughs> at elementary school, I have a classmate, a boy and a girl, both of them Down syndrome. They look exactly the same. But yeah. That's where I got the idea, right? <laughs> so, so, all right, all right, maybe I'm bad, I'm down, I'm pounding down. Let's go up a notch, okay? How about Mormon wives? You think, like, uh, FLDS people, you know, the uh, Warren Jeff, that's his name? Oh. He's in jail right now, right? Oh, yeah. So, I heard he has 57 yeah. wives, but when I Google it, turns out he has 87 wives. Oh. Yeah, they have a happy family photo, you know, on there. Yeah. Guess what? All of those wives, it look like. Oh, you know? yeah. They dress like, their hair pieces oh. say, yeah, yeah, they're, they look like, all right? You know, I guess that's why Warren Jeff is going to younger, younger oh, girl, right? 14 year old got him in jail now. Oh. Yeah, I know, so terrible. Okay, uh, maybe I should go up another notch. <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh, they want me to punch it up, right? So how about KKK people? <laughs> you think they look like, yeah. So I think that only they look like the three holes in the oh. white hood, exactly the same size, yeah. I bet that white hood is made in China too. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh. All right, so uh, let's go something. Yeah, I know, so we're, let's punch up enough, right? Um, <laughs> So speak, thank you. So speaking of, of uh, from China, but actually I am American by choice. Yeah, when I say American by choice, I almost feel like you guys are saying I'm a born again Christian. Yeah, because you have to think about it, right? You have to weigh pros and cons about it. You know, I did that 2003. Yeah, when I uh, decided, because the Chinese government, they don't recognize dual citizenship, you know, thing. Uh, so uh, they want you to pick a team, right? Uh, so I, I, after I pick team, USA, USA, uh, Chinese government said, get the frick uh, out of here. Uh, I can't say F word, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. So uh, I uh, had to send in my password, cut it half, right? But at the time, you know, actually very a struggle for my family. I remember my mom called me just a few months before I uh, go to the federal building, go through the thing. My mom says, yay. You already have a green card, right? So you already have a freedom to travel back and forth between the U.S. and China. Why do you want to be American? And she said, uh, you want to vote? You want a democracy? Is that what it is? Uh, at the time, I already made up my mind. I don't want to argue with her. So I said, uh, yeah, 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 I want to vote. So my mom voted me out of her will. <laughs> she, she voted first, right? At the time, I said, who cares about her? Uh, uh, apartment, you know, like shithole apartment. That's that's a clean word. Uh, so <laughs> did I know? Twenty years later, her shithole apartment was one point three million dollars. Uh, oh. Yeah, the exact twenty years. I feel like maybe I should kill myself, you know, <laughs> poor as a comedian, you know. But my older brother was the worst. My brother at the time says, uh, "Traitor!" He told me a traitor, and he said, "Don't come back. Just stay in the United States." So. Guys, people, everybody, that's why I love this country. Because we already have a trader. His name is Trader Joe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so once again, I did this show in Idaho, the audience in the, in the, uh, in the down the audience says, yeah, get the Joe out of the White House. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, that's not the Joe I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about organic Joe. Okay. Wow, yeah, this is kind of strange. Oh. But you know, during the pandemic though, I finally watched that TV show, uh, Fresh Out the Boat. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You heard, heard about that? Fresh Out the Boat is about Chinese immigrant uh, story, right? Happening in New York City. So I watched, because uh, as immigrant, I'm, I'm OG, original immigrant. I, wanna, I always want to watch it, right? So like three episodes in, 
I was like, no, I don't know. I don't know. I like this thing, you know. Uh, uh, it's not my Chinese uh, immigrant story. Yeah, I'm not getting noble. Matter of fact, I have to jump on the ship to stay in this country. It's called a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I literally married a white guy to get my green card. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, white people. <laughs> <laughs> Your ship worked. Yeah. yeah. So I really appreciate it. Uh, before that one, there's another ship called scholarship. <laughs> I, I used that ship to finish my master's degree. Yeah. So thank you, America. You are beautiful people. You really helped me. I have my life from hardship in China to kind of cruise ship in America. <laughs> all right, all right, I need to stop this ship thing, right? Uh, I don't want to be a bad rapper, you know what I'm saying? But you know, with all the chatter out there, this country, they're talking about you watch TV, and say, this country is divided. You know, this kind of just so many homeless people. I feel like, you know what, guys, we need another ship. What'd you say? Yeah, we need time to another ship. It's called a leadership. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know who's gonna lead this to turn America and ship it on. Uh, yeah, that's the big question. I don't know is the Joe Biden or we had to uh, wait for 2024. All right, uh, that's enough. Uh, I don't know politics is in the dirty <laughs> joke category. So, so I'm gonna end right there. Uh, <laughs> thanks to you, Mitch. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you. Meet Winslow, everybody. She started looking at y'all about a ship, and we're like, we don't catch ships no more. That's how that happened. That's how we got here, you know what I mean?